All right, welcome to, uh, is this 16? 15, I think. Ah, fuck me. I'll never get it. Uh, episode 15, Justin Brockman Adventure with uh, Dale Howie. How's it going, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Great. How are hey. you? Yeah, I'm doing well, yeah. I can't believe I uh, have a chance to be on this podcast. It's pretty crazy. Right. You're getting the hard stare off the jump. <laughs> oh, no, I thought you had... I what thought you had like a reason to be here. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're chatting. No, it's because right? you paid 501 fucking dollars. So <laughs> give me my money. Do something. Dance, monkey. Oh, we should have had like a big check or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big, yeah, big, yeah. big, big check. Yeah, we should yeah. have done that. That would have been uh, cute. Yeah. All right, you big fucking galoot. <laughs> I said, I was going to just kind of give you the mic and roll with it, but you've obviously kind of, you know, just dropped the ball and don't know what to do. I saw you, you wore your nice shirt, though. That's good. Right, yeah, I dressed up for you today. Yeah, that's, that's good. Go. Yeah. That's good. You appear anything before we get going? Mm-hmm. Are you, you got to pee or anything before we get going? Or you no, good? not right now. Oh, are, you, are, <laughs> are you currently peeing? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> it's right. only 20 minutes. I think I'll be, I'll be good. All right. Uh, um, Dale, tell me a little bit about yourself and why you wanted to be on the Justin Brockman adventure. Um, to be quite honest, uh, is it Ferris, the guy from Peter Deli? We've gone over this daily. Yes, his name is Ferris. His fucking name is Ferris. I don't want to butcher his name, right? <laughs> it's Ferris. So it's easy. Um, <laughs> So I was in Lapita Deli the one day because I go there pretty much every day. So yeah, all right. right. And uh, you never know. He was telling me the story that he saw you um, at Gord's. Is that right? That's right. We know Gord too. You're a big yeah, boy course, today. Right? Keep going. Yeah, keep no, going. I you got like, it. You're doing good. Yeah, go, right. Don't don't fucking drop the ball there, meat stack. <laughs> keep going. And uh, so Ferris was telling me that you were thinking of guests, and he he mentioned my name, and he's like he reacted pretty bad to it. Yeah. So so, so I heard that. I heard that it bugged you. So I was like, all right. No, I don't know if it bugged me. I just don't think that you really offer very much to the show. No, you know what I mean? So I think I think there's a lot of sarcasm that you didn't pick up on. Right. But <laughs> it's okay. You're here now. I said you raise money for the community. You know, I'm really proud well, of that, you. That was on Armin, to be honest. Right? <laughs> 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 All right. Um, yeah, we were saying for people who don't know, it was five hundred dollars in twenty-two days. You guys raised. That's sorry, quick as five hundred and one dollars. Five hundred and one dollars. Yeah. Yes. Right? Sorry, Dale. That's right. You went to college. <laughs> yeah. Right. So like you got your shit down. That's good. Um, speaking of college, Dale. Right. Is it true? Okay, let's hear. It. Th- did you used to carry a briefcase every day to school? Who was telling you this, anyways? But yeah, this is true. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to add on to that, was it was it full of cheese and crackers? Um, it held my laptop, but eventually there was actually nothing in the thing, to be quite honest. So it was just you just trying to impress the chicks? Basically, I guess. Yeah, and how'd yeah. that go? <laughs> 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 Who told you to use a lap or like a briefcase? So yeah, so the laptop that I bought had come, it came with a briefcase. So yeah, he sure wasn't a typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> so who was telling me this, anyways? Uh, I don't. I don't remember. You're you, listen. You're more of a legend than than you, I think. Than I you am, think? No, right? than anyone thinks actually. Because right. yeah, more of a myth, like a unicorn, right? Like a ginger that, unicorn. I guess that's why I'm sitting here, right? Yeah. Uh, no, because you paid. <laughs> you paid. Like you know, the, I didn't pay. We had how many people did we have? Pay? I, it was twenty two people. Yeah, right? it Lots took twenty two people, people to make five hundred bucks. Yeah. Holy guess, shit, yeah. dude. That's well, terrible. A lot of people care about me, it seems, right? No, no, no. That's not... You're, again, missing it. <laughs> That's not why you're here. <laughs> there was apparently a little bit of bullying, too. We should mention that. It's, it's mentioned oh, right, in the yeah, comments on the GoFundMe page. That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, listen, anyway. So, so, uh, can you pronounce the um, community that the money's going to? Oh, shit. I can take a take a shot at it. Um, it's a northern community, right? It is Tunga Sov... Uh, I can't. It's T. Can you say it? Yeah, can you no. say it? No, definitely. Come on, you went no. to college. Come on. No, this was Armin that that shows us. It is a T U N G A S U V V I N G A T Inuit. I can pronounce right. that part. <laughs> you're, yeah, I'm sure you're already a legend in that community because you know the dude from um, uh, the old Rudolph Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Still, think- still, actually, like you're that fucking dude, and they already believe in you. So now you're an actual <laughs> being. So that's pretty cool. That's right. Yeah, Domini was uh, the guy that mentioned. What is his name? Cornelius. It might be Cornelius. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Domini the one day because I was wearing like a green sweater. I guess he wears a green sweater, right? Well, yeah, it's Christmas yeah. all year for you, right? Right. And, and then yeah. I was wearing a red toque, and he's like, "Oh my god, Dale! I'm just gonna give you a fucking hatchet, and you're good to go." There you go. Yeah. Dale, how'd we meet? How did we meet? Um, 50, I guess, what, 15 or 16 years ago? Mm-hmm. It predates uh, Brockman Martial Arts. Uh, I started training the Kitschy Sai. Yep, you did. Big That's boy. Right. How old were you? I was like 17. Man, you no look way. exactly the same as you do now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I remember you actually asked me to, to sign a waiver, and I was like, I got to bring it home. Get my <laughs> <family."> <laughs> and you're like, aren't you like 25 years old? I'm like... 
bro. I, yeah. I'm in grade 11. Yeah, and you're still wearing the same sweater that's today. Right. I like yeah, that. No, that's it's, right. It's yeah. a good look for you. Don't change a fucking thing. <laughs> So. All right. Uh, okay. So listen, there must be some actual reason why you want to be here outside of the guy that bribed you with pitas. So <laughs> give, give me something. Throw something at no, me. That's like, like that's basically it. I mean, my that's par- your whole story. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my parents are from a place called Glasgow, and uh, which is it's in Scotland. Oh, come okay. On, yeah. On, good. Man. You don't you don't know where Glasgow is? Well, you got to fill in the listeners in case <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Yes, I thought it was like uh, in the South Oshawa somewhere. <laughs> South Oshawa. It's worse than South Oshawa, to be honest. And just like the way Glaswegians are, they like to bust people's balls. That's just how we're made, right? So how are you always on the receiving end of that then? Am I? Oh, uh, that's what I gather when you walk in the door. Um, so one of the questions someone fired at, at us is, how many times have you heard the phrase, God damn it, Dale? <laughs> yeah, no, definitely a lot. I mean... <laughs> Like, probably from my dad, two or three times a day, I used to get him gone. Yeah, and, uh, well, I guess I'm just, uh, well, yeah, yeah in I'm stepped group? in, stepped right. in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, so, listen, Dad, you make me, you make me, no, you don't make me proud every day, but uh, <laughs> I say this all the time, that it never stops amazing me that you fucking never stop amazing me. You right. know what I mean? Like, every time you walk in the door, I'm like, dude, your underwear... Like they go on the inside, you know what I mean? Right, the, yeah. the drawstring, the drawstring goes in, in the front, shit like that. <laughs> I mean, every day, and I, I to the point where some days I don't even mention it because I'm like, why bother? You're going to do it again tomorrow. It's okay though. Don't change a thing, man. I probably won't. To be no, honest, but yeah. well, I don't think you can. Right? It's okay. You know, like I, I don't know. Like it used to bother my mom, and I think I just used to. <laughs> And my dad, like, loved it. He'd be like, Dale, it's bugging your mom. Keep it going. Don't <laughs> he, he would tell me, if you shave, son, I'm not talking to you. Like, this is really getting your mom going. And I enjoyed it, too. Every day I'd wake up, she'd be like, she'd look at me and just be livid, right? It was good fun. So are you telling me that you wear, like, your shit inside out and stuff like that to bug me? No, or that, no, no that would be, like, my mom to do it. You oh, know? Yeah, to bug So her. your mom dressed you with your shit inside out? No, I mean, I do it myself because it, it annoys her, right? Yeah, but what about me? Why do you wear your gi inside it? I don't know. Because it's Hobbit now, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is right. I did wear my gi inside it. Oh, it's it's happened yeah. more than once. Yeah, Trust me. True, I just yeah. haven't said it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it today, man. Let's just let him, let him go. He looks happy enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was last year. Do you remember meeting my brother? Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like, and he was telling me, he's like, the first thing he said was like, you're Dale Howie's brother. You don't dress. You, like, you can dress properly. Right? <laughs> Isn't that what you said to him? Yeah, oh, yeah, pretty much. He said, he definitely not like you. <laughs> yeah, there's a distinct difference between the two. <laughs> That's yeah. fair, yeah. Although I will say that night, you can hold a better conversation than your brother. Right, he, yeah, he, he was, he was pretty... on fire. He was on fire. <laughs> so was I. It's okay. It all worked out. It all worked out. Uh, Dale, do you have a girlfriend? Um, I did for like 10 years, nine years. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought you made that I like I thought no that, no, that was, it was real yeah that was real oh yeah. okay what happened to him <laughs> that's good um oh is that a touchy subject I won't yeah, go no, near it's it a, it's a bit touchy. okay no I'm sorry I'm sorry I just, like, I just honestly I thought like the whole time like you know I was just fucking kind around, of yeah. maybe making it up right <laughs> no no it was real it was okay real. okay um and is there any other special ladies in your life right now <laughs> <laughs> This guy can't even keep a straight face, man. Oh, fuck. Um, no, I'm just living the bachelor life. Just in <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, all right. I need a second, so give me a fire something there, clap boy. All right. Uh, so Matt wanted, wants to know, how many uh, street signs are you up to above your bed? <laughs> oh, like who, knows, who Who said this? This is Matt. I don't know if I want to give his last oh, okay, name. Okay, right. Yeah, okay. I, I know. So Matt, Matt would know, right? Because you guys right. have yeah, sleep, sleepovers yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, so I have three street signs above. Like, <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> um, I can't believe you're a person. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, no, I've got three. Because like, I own three houses, right? So. Oh, so. Yeah, yeah, you, wait, you knew that. We know, this no, 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 stop, stop. Do you, still, do you still live at home? I do, yeah. <laughs> but you own three, you own three houses? houses and you live at home. That's right. Yeah, you're, I'm, fu- you're I'm fucking living the dream, man. Come you're, on, you're fucking <laughs> alien, is what you are. Oh shit! <laughs> Can we get more context on it? So it's like investment properties. Yeah, so oh, it's a nightmare. Um, the rental properties. Oh, okay. Are, they're uh, in Marmara. You were saying you're from yeah. Madoc, right? Yeah, I, I grew up in Madoc, so. So yeah, you're probably familiar with Marmara. Oh, right? quite. Yeah. Yeah, like, you think I'm interesting, man? <laughs> oh, Marma's <laughs> fucked up. All those little towns up that way are all fucked right, up. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Teenage prejudice, you know, right. throws them through the roof. It's amazing so, here. 
I get these. You can be the mayor. I am the mayor of Marmara. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, the acronym is Mom, Mayor of Marmara. That's what people call me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yeah, so I get all these interesting phone calls. Like uh, one time it was like two o'clock in the morning. I, like, I, I see the number. It's my tenant, like, my least favorite tenant of them all. Oh, yeah. Do you have them in order? I do, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's, like, on the bottom of the list, yeah. right? And uh, I pick up the phone, and it's, like, some guy. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's, like, 2 in the morning. It's like, yeah, your tenant, like, fell into the toilet or whatever, right? And he's like, I'm from, like, the Campbellford Hospital. I thought he was going to say she was dead. So I was like, okay, I should probably look for a new tenant or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but he's asking me to go change the toilet at two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, this place is, it's a very interesting place, Marmer. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. No, there's, uh, crazy booze, crazy people, yeah, like drugs, little rural towns drugs, like that yeah. are always, yeah, they're yeah, always definitely. fucking hopped up on goofballs. Those guys out there. It's a weird spot. I remember being there when we were kids and my buddy, uh, I'm not, I won't. Now, fuck that. It was my brother and a couple of dudes. They were robbing, they were robbing car stereos at the train right. station. And uh, and they got fucking picked up by the OPP. Wow. Yeah, it was a good time. Then I, I guess there's just not much to do out there, right? Well, so that, exactly. They get nothing right. but idle hands to get you get you in trouble, right? So I can see that why you'd be kind of like the mayor. Right. Yeah. yeah like I yeah. fit in quite is well. There, yeah. Is there any <laughs> other gingers in? Uh, not that I've seen. No. I fit the dress code pretty well, too, out there. Yeah, you do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like it's like year-round pajamas and shit like that. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> That's right, man. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. I dress better than these folk. It's yeah. It's been interesting. Anyways. Well, that's that says a lot. Like if right. you don't know where Marmor is, now you know that Dale's uh, Dale's <laughs> high on the pecking list out there. Those those ladies are lining up there. Eh? Why don't you shop around out there for a new bird? I mean, most of them don't have teeth, man. So, I know, but if you get enough of them, right? right it's one set. You can do that. Yeah. You own so much property too. I feel like you got a leg up. Yeah, definitely. They're like, <laughs> yeah, look, like, look at this yeah. guy. Three. Three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get on that, man. Like, trust me. They're going to be lining up. They want little fucking albino kids and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, I got some standards, man. Right. No. Uh, you like asks. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be asking me for. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit all right for, uh, from our qualified listeners viewers what else so this one was uh, actually from jeff he just left he wants you to tell us the story where you thought someone stole your toque at the bar oh my god yeah i can't believe people remember this shit man <laughs> i don't know what anyone was talking about go right ahead. no no i know what he's talking about so <laughs> no this is like honestly the worst story ever i imagine that continue though <laughs> okay so i had this toque it was like a scottish toque and i was playing um and, and near from glasgow's from scotland or scotland's right. from glasgow Okay, go ahead. Right. No. So I'm wearing this too. I'm playing some arcade game. This is like 12 years kind, ago. Kind so. of bar yeah, when you're playing an arcade game. <laughs> it was Don Cherry. Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, there you go. And so I wasn't playing too well, so I, I took the toque and I threw it in frustration. And uh, I couldn't find it. And five minutes later, this guy from the uh, the kitchen walks out wearing a Scottish toque. And I thought he stole it, right? So the next day, my buddy is like egging me on to go back to this place to get the two right? And so essentially what happens is I go back as no no listen to this. No, story, I'm Justin, listening, right? man. I'm just taking a breath here. It's yeah, a lot. It's a lot. No, this is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I sit like, he's oh, sitting man. in a booth. I sit in the booth. I'm like, bro, give me my fucking toque back, man. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, it's like a Scottish toque. He like pulled it out of his bag. He's like, Do you mean this toque? I'm like, yeah, like I'll just take it back, right? And so he was with his girlfriend. They went and we went and looked for the toque where I said I threw it. The girlfriend found my toque. So you look. What you're saying is you look pretty. pretty yeah, I look fucking like a stupid. fucking idiot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff Muir. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I, like I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could narrow down my own like Dale Howie stories, but it's yeah, like I, I feel like every day is uh, kind of like one, a new yeah. adventure. You That's know what I right. mean? When you walk in the door, I'm just like, what the fuck, <laughs> right? So I'm like, I can't actually lock it down to one spot where you really fucking amaze me because. <laughs> Um, I had a rib sub before a match once. Um, what was it, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> You're my hero, man. Oh, no, I know you did. Go ahead. Ho Hollywood Jeff. What was his name again? Jeff. I can't think. He's oh. out, out west. Oh, Jeff Herdman. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he saw me eating this thing. He's like, what the fuck are you doing down? I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't eat. He's like, probably not a rib <laughs> sub before your match in 10 minutes, right? I, re I remember. 
Yeah, but like trying to give you like uh, nutritional advice when you were like fucking young, like young, and it was 18, like, 19, yeah. yeah, it was like beef. You're I'm like, what are you eating? He's like a beef jerky and Fruit Loops and shit. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? I'm gonna die. They're like, you're gonna go compete with this shit, and that's what your diet is. Like, that's you right, know, yeah. Fruit Fruit Loops isn't fruit, right? Do you still eat Fruit Loops? You do. Oh. You do. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, oh, these are delicious. We get them at yeah. Christmas. No, they're not bad. That's okay. All right. Mm. So, what other questions do you have? Uh, I think this one is for you. You have to expose yourself a little bit here and uh, oh, explain it myself joke. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this who is Jesse Brockman? Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I can almost guarantee you where that one came from. Um, it's, it's kind of an, a joke alias because. Oshawa doesn't have like a lot of, uh, I don't know if you know this, but we don't have a lot of celebrities. We don't no, have a lot of celebrities here. So I guess some, sometime, I guess maybe around 10, 12 years ago, it became me. And wherever were we? We were out at some bar drinking beers one night. And this guy was uh, basically starts chirping us, whatever else. And he's, and this has happened to me like fucking more than once. And this guy's just, he's chirping and we're just sitting there fucking rolling our eyes. There's this clown. He's trying to get us going, whatever else. And I'm like, well, we're just kind of like back off fucking. You know what I mean? And this right. guy tells me, he steps up and he's like, listen, I'll make one fucking phone call. And my boy, Jesse Brockman will come down here and fuck you up. I'm like, no way. I'm like, he's like, absolutely. He's, yeah. I'm like, well, you call Jesse Brockman and you tell him we'll be waiting here. And he's like, all right, get him all worked up. Similar situation happened. We we're, we we're at, uh, it was me and a couple boys and we were at, um, Jackasters in Whitby getting getting into it one night and these guys the same sort of thing we're all sitting in the bar and we're all crushing drinks and eating food and we're having a great fucking night and these morons sit behind side us and I think they're all coked up or something and they're getting into it and this guy uh, he starts telling he starts saying something about uh, training with me right he's like yeah I trained at Bruckman's and I'm like I kind of just let it go for a second and then he said something again and again I'm, I'm like you know what uh, I hear that Brockman guy's a fucking loser. And he's like, what? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. I'm like, I don't know, man. I heard all sorts of shit about that guy. And he's like, all right, I'll call him right now. I'm like, you go ahead and call him. And he's like, and we kept egging these guys, egging these guys, egging these guys, and get him right fucking worked up. I'm like, you go ahead, call your boy, boy, get him down here. I tell him, you, tell him, I tell him he's a fucking fag or whatever. Like, I did whatever I was saying at the time, right? right? right. And I'm like, <laughs> and he's like, and we get these guys riled up all fucking night. And then I just fucking pull. At, by the end of the night, we ran up a massive tab. I just pulled my wallet out. Slap my ID on the bar. The guy's like kissing his teeth at me. And he's like, "What the fuck is this?" And he looks. He picks it up. He's like, "Fuck!" And I'm like, "Pay for our drinks. Get the fuck out of my face!" And he's like, "He's like, pay for our shit." Oh, and then we got shows. out of there, and me and my buddy got roofied. Same night. It was a good night. Wow, you got roofied? Yeah. So I'm not sure if they got the last laugh or <laughs> some, some young lady was trying to get in there, but either way, it's it's. Being in an MMA, especially we're in a small community where <coughs> there is really isn't like everyone wants to say they know someone. Yeah, right? right. I'm just the guy that everyone wants to say they know. Not anymore, but like back then it was right. So you get all these fucking clowns That's like crazy doing shit like that. Like Scott, you remember Scott Davis? He had a similar story. He worked at like Starbucks or whatever. Oh he, yeah, yeah. Did do you do you know the story that I'm telling here? You're gonna well, I no one I'll else does. It. Fucking tell okay. me. That's the whole point. That's why you're here. <laughs> yeah. So he was wearing like a, a shooto jacket or whatever. Right. Yeah. This guy came up to him and he's like, oh, so like you're into MMA. And Scott's like, yeah, yeah. So the guy starts going off about how he knows MMA. And he's like, I trained this local guy. You might be familiar with him. His name's uh, Antonio Carvalho. He butchered the last name too. <laughs> he's, or <laughs> he's like Antonio Carvalho or something like that. And Scott's just laughing like, yeah, I don't think I've heard of that guy before. <laughs> he's pulling out his phone, texting Antonio like, oh, I'm with your coach here, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but, but the shit happens. The shit happens all the time. Not as much anymore, but. Used to because like, like even in Canada, there was only a few of us, right? right? So it was really easy to pinpoint who was who and who was full of shit, right? So, and I'm sure this guys in every city like get the same sort of stuff, right? But around here, there was no one. Now, lots of guys in this area do jujitsu and MMA and whatever. And right. now, and now, honestly, I don't, I don't fucking care. I'm like, you want to pretend you know me? Go ahead, man. Buy a ticket to the fucking show, Justin <laughs> Brockman Adventure. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So like, I, don't, I don't fucking care what you say or do anymore, because like I don't even take the whole thing seriously anymore, man. It's been kind of a, like MMA's been a joke for fucking years, right? right? Like it lost, it lost that special thing that it had when we started. You know what I mean? Right. Like when we were going to Japan and things like that. And now it's just fucking douchebag central. Road to, trips to Hammond, Indiana. Yeah. Oh Indiana. my god. Yeah. No, terrifying places. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. like I think when I started, I mean, the highest rank I knew in jujitsu was probably a purple. Like you and 
Antonio or purple belts. But maybe, maybe, maybe still blue. I don't remember. Yeah. Blue, no, or, blue yeah, or purple belts. Yeah. yeah. And monkey as well. Oh. Monkey was first. It was monkey got his and then me and Tony right afterwards. Like that was the orders. Monkey, Marco, me, Tony was like in that order or something like that. So, and Warren. Yeah. Shrek. Uh, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Shrek. Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> so. And you're uh, sorry, you're a brown belt that, that's in correct. life. Yeah. Brown belt in life. <laughs> yeah. That's All right. No, I've got my brown belt. Trust <laughs> me. <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bag of tricks is fucking kid. I like it. What else do our, our guests have for us there, Joshua? Uh, this is a bit of a random one, but are you an only child, Mr. Um, Dale? Well, I guess as we discussed, Justin uh, met my brother at the bar. Oh, yeah. Well, like, no one, no one would actually edition. admit like they're his brother unless they <laughs> were, right? If so you I'm met assuming... my brother, you'd understand, right? Yeah, like, I guess. You'd like, you're, you're something yeah. to be proud of, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I get it. Um, and I, I do have a younger sister as well, so. Yeah, did she get the, uh, did she get the jeans? Actually, this is a funny story. I met... <laughs> go, go. I met uh, Antonio and Omar at the Superstar, and I was with my sister. She's probably about five... Uh, no, uh, listen. No, no, I already know how this is going to end. Go ahead. She's like five, six, probably 110 pounds. And we don't look like we're related. Yeah. Know? Um, so you're the you're the Danny DeVito in that one. That's a, yeah, the <laughs> yeah. Danny DeVito. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think it was Antonio. He's like, "Who is like this? Is your girlfriend? Like, good on you, shaking my hand, right?" And I'm like, I, so, I, "Sometimes." I think, <laughs> <laughs> that's like, okay. Like, I, I just own properties in Marmara. Okay, I don't actually. Own <laughs> and uh, anyways, I told him it was my sister, and both him and Omar looked at each other like, "How the fuck are you guys from the same gene pool?" Did Did Omar get to work? He was probably late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get, Omer's always up, up to something. So. Creep. <laughs> so what, uh, what else you got for us, anyways? Um, uh, this is another one from Ian. He said, "If you could date any celebrity, who would who would it be? Man or woman? Don't like don't. <laughs> you know I mean like don't <laughs> feel like we're pigeonholing you? Okay, <laughs> yeah, probably Neil deGrasse Tyson. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's so random. <laughs> that, no man, it's not. That totally makes sense. <laughs> Oh, so you're not in it for the looks, eh? You're in it for like, <laughs> yeah. yeah like, Dale's, uh, <laughs> Dale's intellectual. He's got questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't know if you heard the recent news about Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, I can't wait. Tell us. Oh, the no, sexual it's, assault it's charges? Big news. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, Dale, yeah. tell us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess he was, it's alleged that, uh, like sexual rape charges or whatever. He's part of the Me Too movement, the most recent uh, to to get. I think That's it's several right. accusations. It could be two or three. I guess ten for sure. Yeah. That's a, yeah. You, you didn't hear about this. One either. of them is kind of like the. Not, I don't really follow one. him that closely. Well, I mean, it was all over Facebook. I mean, like my Facebook. I guess well, it's I an algorithm. I, 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 I don't think we're friends on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> 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 been dodging that bullet for years. <laughs> oh, does, it, does it break your heart that maybe one of your idols? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Do you think yeah. it could be true? Um, I didn't really read into it too much. I, like, I have a hard time believing it myself. But. One of them is like an Inzi Zanzari type. Um, he considered it to be like a consensual encounter where he right. invited the girl over, and he said if she said she felt awkward, it happened to Inzi Zanzari. A girl gave him a blowjob, and then it came out where he thought it was consensual. She thought it was sexual assault. Right. I've never figured that out, but whatever. Yeah. Right. It gets all, it gets a little weird. But, I uh, mean, yeah, I guess if you're famous, I mean, it happens like, who knows? I, I'm sure it's probably true for a lot of these guys. Like, uh, I think it just sucks who, knows, who knows, right? right? Like, I don't know, man, that's, it's, that's dodgy shit, right? Cause now so you got some money or some status, whatever people can just fucking attack you. Right. And who knows what's real that he's, he's fucked either way now. Yeah, yeah right? whether whether yeah. The allegations are true yeah. or not, no, so for his, sure, yeah. he's never going to get his credentials back. You know what I mean? Right, like, yeah. that's a shame that shit like that because so often it comes out that this crazy broad was just fucking crazy, right, yeah, right, or looking for a paycheck like attention, or, or whatever. Yeah, you, you know? mean like people sure. are people are nuts, and I'm not taking away like by any means the fact that it maybe it happened. You know what I mean? But like, it does happen where these people are just yeah money hungry or attention craving or whatever and like but but then again there's fucking there's the bill cosby's of the world yeah there you go right yeah. so both ways, yeah. and uh there's <clears throat> fucking weirdos everywhere so you never know it's the whole thing is just scary as shit it's, right so yeah. there's a, a, a division one uh, football player he, he, the court case just finally went through where he was found that the girl had made up the story oh, made what? up the accusations against him and he lost his scholarship they thought he was going to go to the nfl and now he's just that whole opportunity is gone because he's in his like mid-20s now you know what i mean you know how football yeah. is well that's it wow. and then something like that'll drag on for years and years and years and he like said you'll years, never yeah. you'll never get it back right and that's yeah, right. Right. And, it, and it's a shame but for every one of those there's a thousand or two thousand that these scumbags fucking did something too right yeah, so definitely, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's a shame. <clears throat> Neil, Neil's just got to date people like you, Dale, and he'll be all right. <laughs> there you, you know go, know? yeah. I know, man. That's, <laughs> a, that's a safe bet. You're just like two kind of big, just hairy <laughs> intellectuals. <laughs> eh? that's you can it, imagine man. what your kids would look like. Right. You guys, you know you can't have kids, right? <laughs> But if you could, <laughs> fuck it. If anyone could clone, if anyone could clone, right? Yeah, it'd be you guys. You got a good Make like a weird a... kind of. No, nah, he didn't get into that. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but let's say if you were into girls, right? Let's just who say, would it okay, be theoretically? <laughs> who would it be? Would it be Spike from uh, from Degrassi Junior High? Spike? What? Oh yeah, you're a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're three, I was say, that's how a, old are you? That's 37 a year old kid? No, 33. 33. 30, 37. Okay, 37. Uh, <laughs> we'll say I'm 37. Listen, all I'm saying was Spike was the pregnant one in high school. Your, right? odds, your odds would have been good because you knew what she was up to. She was just, yeah. Yeah. And, okay. That's good hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you wouldn't know either. No. You know. I, to be honest, I don't think many of you, that's a very like niche reference. That's like super it's Canadian. No, no, it's not. It's, it's not if you're in your mid 40s. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the first time around, that show was what? Big in the 90s, I guess? Uh, yeah? 80s. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 I didn't know it went that far back. Because nah. even Drake was a part of it. And like, Well, the, yeah, that's like the relaunch, right? Yeah, yeah, the more recent I know, round one was... <sighs> it was a delight, was it? <laughs> all right so uh, the, the next one we have these ones are kind of connected so i guess we'll sell them together okay. but um if you could have a beer with anyone in history who would it be and then also where do you see the universe going in the next hundred years <laughs> in, the next, <laughs> in the next hundred years yeah, need, right, uh, ahead, firm prediction from you dale yeah i would have to say sir isaac newton for sure i mean that guy, I would definitely like to meet what, what you're no, looking dude, not, tr Trust me, none of this surprises me, Dan. You have great answers. Yeah, these are awesome. Yeah. It's not what I would have said. Who would you have said anyways? Who have I, I said? I know yours. I bet you I could guess. Go ahead, guess. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, but you never drank. Okay. But if I was going to force anyone to have a beer, Muhammad, beer. Muhammad, okay. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, absolutely. My fucking hero. I would sit down with guy, that guy and drink water. I don't give a shit. But, yeah, yeah right. it's Muhammad Ali. Yeah. No, you, know, you know, you know, who yeah, no, yeah, okay, yeah, right. yeah. Cassius Clay, right? Yeah, yeah that, that's him. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. And and the universe, Dale, where are we going? In a hundred years, I mean, in the scope of a hundred years, yeah, not much is going to happen to the universe. I mean, really, you don't think so? <laughs> no, not in a hundred years. No. Oh, uh, sir, universe, not world. Yeah, the, the, world, question, the question okay, was yeah. the universe, right? It, it does say universe. But yeah, let's re, I'll rephrase it uh, for it was from Kieran. So maybe we'll just say, let's say world, or even what do you think about Oshawa in a hundred years? Oh, Yeesh. Oshawa's going to be be booming, right? <laughs> hey, that's my boy. That's what I want to hear. Hey, optimism. Yeah. Actually, um, I can connect this whole question. Elon Musk, um, he ha he has that car business. What is it? Tesla. Uh, Tesla. Yeah. Did you hear this rumor? He, he wants to bring Tesla to, to Oshawa. The, you know, I got super excited when that happened because we were talking about that before. Mm -hmm. The only thing, he, I don't think that's a huge, huge uh, facility. Like they might right. not be up to that that size yet, but if anybody could do it in a couple of years, it'd be, a, it'd be Elon Any Musk. glimmer of hope, right, for those people and that those plants is okay with me, right? Yeah. So, uh, how realistic is it? <laughs> Fuck, be, I know. So that'd right, be but, so cool. <laughs> right. But it would be, yeah. uh, any industry into the city would be fantastic, right, Dale? That's right. right? We can't man, just all, totally. You can't just all get, all, get by on pitas. And yeah. like, and you know, being the mayor of Marmara, not yeah. everybody's the, cut out for that, right? <laughs> not everyone's got a future in politics. Yeah. Yeah. There uh, you go, right? I, um, I understand. Yeah, like Elon Musk was on the Joe Rogan podcast, right? And he was talking about uh, like artificial intelligence. And like, I was listening to this getting quite scared. I mean, I couldn't sleep. Okay, me too, yeah. <laughs> I was so, to say, not just me. So in 100 years, I mean, if Elon Musk is right, I mean, maybe it's a scary future, right? Or like yeah. Matrix shit. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, yeah. Or like combining your uh, combining you, you like you with a computer so that you have like a hard drive like a memory. Board, you remember yeah. everything. You're like but, a calculator. You could see like like a, a tele like a camera lens would. So you could see like telephoto zooms and stuff like that. Really crazy shit. But like mm. even the robots themselves. I think I, I want to say it was either Sam Harris or Elon Musk was saying, like they'll be able to develop technology in ten thousand years. That would take us ten thousand years. Mm. And like a week. Yeah. Well, I was saying technology develops faster and faster and faster right. all the time, right? Like now we especially get all these assholes just sitting around in beanbag chairs, smoking weed all the time. They come up with some good shit. <laughs> That's yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. I'm and they, yeah, they underestimate That's... the AI too. They thought they would take like, you know, two, 20 years or 25 years for it to beat this game and it did it in like two years. Right, yeah. So some of the estimations, you know, they're guessing it'll take 100 years, but it could be 20, 15. I mean, like we're already at the part point where we're like cyborgs, like with our phones. I mean, the, our phones are basically part of us, right? Yeah, I mean, true enough. Yeah, like cell phones are terrifying, right? Yeah. Like when you when you really look you at know, it, like, like you, you saw people like the dickies and stuff like that by accident. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Like, oh, it's ginger dick. I know who this is. <laughs> it can't fit in a picture, though. That's the <laughs> issue, man. Right? 
<laughs> I'm guessing it could. Eh? Like, get a little zoom lens there. <laughs> little zoom lens. <laughs> Listen to this guy. Oh, I think, I think that's a deal. <laughs> Yeah, trim, trim it back a little bit, man. Give yourself an extra inch. <laughs> oh, shit. So what, what other questions you got? <laughs> All right, this one uh, ties in really well. It's, uh, is there an actual pita at the Pita Deli named the Dale Howie? Yeah, so this is at the Ritzen location, so not at... Oh, um, oh not at the OG location? No, don't go to that one. Man. No, why? No, man, no, you go see Ferris. No, I mean... Don't fuck around. The whole family. I love the whole family, to be honest, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, no, there's a combination of Fuck, sauces. I want a pita now. No, they're delicious, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably getting one on the way back. Yeah, I know. I'm, I, I drive I'm, right past it every time. I, go I to the Ritz one, right? No, I mean, no, 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 I go to the OG one, off. yeah. <laughs> real. No. Sell, you sell them Ferris at? Oh, no, I love Ferris. No, I love Ferris. No, I know, but go to the other one, yeah. Right. But he doesn't give me a deal, apparently. I'm kind of upset No, no, I didn't, I didn't say he didn't give you a deal. He doesn't give you the same deal I get. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to ask for the Jesse Brockman deal. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but is there, is there actually a PETA named after you? Um, or you just, they just know this is what Dale wants? Is... Yeah, so, like, I, I got a mixture of sauces, and the guy behind the counter was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> and so I guess, you know, the next day he tried it, and I came back, and he's like, bro, that is fucking delicious. Like, <laughs> and so anybody that comes in, he'll be like, listen, get this combination. And he's like, I've got about 10 people hooked. And he's like, I, he's like, I've told them the backstory. It's like this ginger guy that came in. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how many years did it take you to narrow down that secret sauce? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> years, right? Yeah, years. a lot of fucking pitas, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, what do you weigh right now? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> what an honest answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. All right. Uh, what, uh, Hot boy, what do we got? Some more questions? Uh, yeah, this, this is for everybody. If the, if the earth is flat, Dale, why right. haven't cats pushed all our shit over the edge? I don't even know how Legit to answer that. <laughs> I, I, I thought yeah, maybe you were not one of those flat guys, guys no, are you? Okay, good. Oh, okay, good. Good. You can get the fuck out. Dude. No, for sure. Yeah. I've been on an airplane. I know the right. world's round. I mean, yeah. the first thing you have to tell somebody is when you see the moon, you see the like you know the crevice and it's circular, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, for people to actually think it's flat, I mean, like who is it? Um, Hickson's son. What's Hickson's son's name? Oh, Cron? please don't tell yeah, me. He, yeah, he's Cron a flat, it's flat. Oh, Yeah, Lord. no, he is. Yeah, he's fighting in the main act. He got he got signed too. Oh uh, yeah, he did. He's getting smashed. Um, yeah, did you yeah. know that he's a flat earther? That, you, what the fuck is smashed. wrong with the world, man? Right? Like, I don't. Like, he's not a dumb guy either, right? Yeah. Well, clearly he is. I, I mean, yeah, I, like. <sighs> How do they do it for attention? Seth or Seth Curry yeah. just said the same thing. He said they didn't go to the moon on a podcast, and it's just kind of oh, right. no, they're just stirring up shit, exactly. right? Like right. in Bravo, like guys like that, like you really think? I, I think he believes it. <laughs> yeah, true. He's a fucking weirdo. He can't. But go he's a flat earth. earther too. But do you actually believe he thinks the Earth is flat? Then do you think? if he didn't believe it, I feel like he wouldn't talk about it that much. But like every single, because every time I watch the companion where they're trying to talk about fights, it right. just gets dominated by all the conspiracy talk. That's nah, fair. Yeah, I don't know, man, yeah. the world's a fucking weird place. Yeah. Um, but I'm pretty confident the earth is round, man. I'm pretty confident. Well, you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one's from Barry. Uh, he uh, said, geez, why do you keep calling me and breathing into the phone and not talking? He said he has caller ID. He knows it's right. Him. You know, me and Barry get along well. It's, well, clearly. It's, yeah, because I call him and breathe <laughs> I think the, the real phone. question is, why doesn't he hang up? That's right, because he likes it too much. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> You know who's calling? You already got your dick out. Don't pretend it's not happening. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. Yeah, no, me and Barry have some very interesting conversations. Like, that is a smart guy, Barry. Uh, uh, he's, the, he's the master of, like, he acts like, he always has since we were kids. He acts like a fucking moron, so right. no one expects anything For from sure. him. Right? So I'll, uh, I'll give you an awesome Barry story. Yeah, let's is, hear it. <laughs> Sorry, Barry. <laughs> he used to carry... <laughs> 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 no, I'm gonna stop. Now you're not. Now you're not uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's hear it. Come on, you got me curious, Justin. Let's hear. We used to carry a. Uh, uh, no, I can't out Barry like that. Okay. I can't right. tell everyone that Barry used. No, I can't. <laughs> I, can't. So I, can't cool. I can't. I can't. I was almost there, but I can't do it. Maybe once well, we get I'll have Barry on here, <laughs> yeah. and he can explain that story himself. Because like, I'll, I just can't do that to my man. There we so, go. Barry's got some fucking stories. Yeah, yeah he's definitely. A, yeah, he's a weird cat. But yeah, dude, genius martial artist and trainer. Just but like spent made a career out of convincing people he was a dummy. Right. So no, never, for sure. So, yeah. so he never really had to do anything. Yeah, I remember I was driving him home uh, for a while. Like when he lived from in, where Dale? 
From here, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And maybe, yeah, maybe a couple dates, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know how we got into, like, just deep stuff. I think we're talking about uh, Floyd Mayweather being an idiot or whatever and that he couldn't read. And then, I don't know, we started talking about, like, the universe and just all this crazy shit. I think I was in the car with him, parked outside of his house for, like, three hours we were talking. Yeah. Sounds nice. It was, yeah, it was yeah, pretty, sensual. sensual. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. romantic, yeah. Mm. And I've, I've left that thinking, I thought this guy, like, I feel bad that I thought this about Barry, but I was like, I thought that guy was an idiot, right? And what do you think that Barry yeah, probably thought, thought about you? thought the same <laughs> thing. Yeah, probably thought the same thing. You guys thing. walking from the car. <laughs> just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> That guy's way smarter than I thought. And am I in love? <laughs> Is this what it feels like? And then you guys went home and watched Charlie Brown and shit and thought about each other. Oh, that's true. Charlie Brown's Christmas and Red Nose Reindeer. Right? Yeah, just going back and forth. Going, that's it, God. yeah. God. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, the next one is, uh, what is your best no reason boner story? <laughs> Today? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right now, yeah, yeah. Well, this yeah. morning. <laughs> um, yeah, I got nothing, man. That's just a weird no? question. Yeah. It's it's not a weird question. It's, it's not, no. Really? You no, never have yeah, one of those when you're just like teacher calls you up in front of the class. Yeah, probably you're, one of those. You're like, yeah. ah, I don't even care. No? Yeah. No, well, probably, yeah. Yeah, hey? Oh, yeah, I was going to say that happened to me when I was 15 in science class. I was right, like, yeah. They're like calling us up to like uh, confirm the locker numbers that we had in class. And you're just 15. You're sitting there like, shit, why the fuck do I have a boner? <laughs> you're sitting there and he's like, Josh, I'm going to like, no, I'm not going up there. And you're just sitting there and like, I'll just yell out the answers from here. And he's just like, this struggle, they're trying to call you up. That's just a normal thing. It just makes it worse, the anticipation. It's like, yeah. So awkward. Yeah, you got like a book in front so nobody so can see. Yeah, no. You're wearing like ball shorts too. So like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's just a bad time. Oh, shit. But nothing? You don't got any? No way. Eh? Uh, you, know Jeff will be you need to go home and think about that and call yeah. it back, call it back in. Homework for today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's just fair. We'll get you on the next episode. Just drop by. Right. I'll just <laughs> drop by. Oh, hey, remember that boner thing? <laughs> I got it. Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's yeah. happening. Are you wearing track pants today? No, I'm actually wearing like dress pants. Yeah. Those are dress pants. Yeah. Oh, okay. You did dress up for this. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. would be the first first guest to wear dress pants. Yeah. Like sneakers. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it's good. You look yeah. like you're ready to go to a, think, like a Christmas party or something. I've been told this is my color too. This is what people have been telling me. But, yeah. Okay. No. What, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, else, what else do we have going on there, Josh? So uh, Armin, we got okay. some questions from Armin now, which is good because he's the All one right, who helped uh, bully people into raising the $500 right. to get you on here. But he would like you to describe your first day at BMA. I mean, that's kind of difficult because like I was saying earlier, um, my first day was at Kitchy Sai. Like, I predate Brooklyn Martial Arts, mm -hmm. right? So, I think it was like six months in, then you finally left uh, Kitchy Sai. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'd been there for a couple of years already. Um, so, the, remember we started at the Ajax location? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I remember my first... I thought you were there for longer than that. What do you mean? Before, like I, before we actually left there? Yeah, I was probably there a couple, like, I don't know, seven or eight months, maybe? Oh, okay. You just made that impression, Dale. You're in. Right. You're in here. Yeah. You're in here. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah Kitchy Sai was a very different place. Like, I mean, you could just enter a code and go in. I, at it any was point, weird. Right? It was crazy. It's, it's yeah. a shame that be, that gym to this day is fuck was ridiculous. Yeah, it was crazy. How, like, how nice it was. It's like just, you had saunas and yeah. then the gym at the back. Like more, at least maybe more mat space than we have now. And yeah, that was definitely. 20, yeah. That was like almost twenty years ago, right? That's right. It was just mismanaged and just kind of. Like, what was the story there? It was like. Uh, was it Gribben? Yeah, Dan Gribben was my original, <coughs> excuse me, judo sensei. And, and he got himself into, I think he was originally like, uh, his the whole family was like judo, a judo family. And then he got himself into trouble. And then he went and, up north and then, or something and then, like then he, that, And right? then he became a good, like, born again, go hard, born again Christian. Right. And then he was running God's gym, Kijisai Judo Club. I don't know what it was. And then that's when I started training there and whatever. And then, uh, and then he kind of bounced and left it to his brother. And then it's when, that's, that's right, when yeah. it all went to shit after that. And I was like, we already had our own thing going. And then we're like, right. uh, let's get the fuck out of here before this all goes up in flames. And that's when we had our got a spot in Ajax. And then we were only in Ajax for like six months. And we ended and then up the beer store yeah, right? in the basement of the beer store, which is the best place, man. I wish we were still there. I'd be rich. <laughs> which beer store? What location? Uh, Wilson and King. Wilson okay. and King, like just down yeah. the street. Yeah. yeah it was the that's best, right. man. It was the best. Like, we had like two mat spaces and it was a smelly shitty basement but it was like magic down there like guys from that basement went to the ufc you know what i mean it was it was amazing that's a cool story and uh oh some war stories down there it was an amazing little spot and then we moved down here and then i moved over here 
like I've been in this building for like 10 years. It's been that long, eh? Yeah, originally I was down there. So this is year 10 in this. Wow. Room. Wow. So how long were we at that other building? <laughs> Three years, maybe? Three years? Wow. I think, uh, yeah, something like that. But it was a great little spot. So I don't remember you. I don't remember the first day you walked on the mat. So there's certain guys in here I do, and you think right. that I would remember you because right. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you look, you look like you look like that. But I don't like, remember. Well, yeah. were you for, were you there first or was Dale Howie there first? Or were you coming at the same time? Yeah, we came at the same Dale time. Howie, yeah. uh, Kyle Kyle Hobie, sorry. Um, no, Kyle would have came first. Yeah, oh, yeah. But you guys yeah. were pretty close together, I think. Well, like, in t yeah, like we were like best friends. Yeah. yeah. Um. So no, this, not like, like dating or anything though. Like, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like, yeah, the story there was um, I used to play competitive volleyball until I was like seventeen. But you, you weren't very good at anything. Though? Oh no, no, I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I was go decent, ahead. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> listen to this guy, yeah? and I was like, <laughs> I was getting out of control. I mean, you think I ate bad when I gave you the list of what I ate? I was eating like two or three pla uh, plates of fries, like in a sitting with like a burger, and I was like gaining a lot of weight. And I was like getting depressed, and Kyle was like, "You should come out." And it wasn't even jujitsu at the time; it was like judo. Yeah, right? we're still in judo. Yeah, yeah. I'm like judo. I'm like, uh, I don't think I'll be into that, right? And uh, like, I do remember my first class. Um, you'll probably remember this guy. It was, yeah, Ian Alexander, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember he was like the teacher, and I was like, kind of feel bad saying this. Okay. It's gonna be on YouTube. I was like, this guy's kind of a douchebag. Hey, he's a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> um, do something. <laughs> and then I think I think it was like legit a week into I was training. Um, Justin came up to, it would have been like my other best friend, but she wouldn't remember. I think he only trained with us for maybe two or three months. And he came up to us and you're like, oh, I'm going to start a Nogi class. It's going to be every Wednesday. And I was legit only training probably a week, right? I think Justin was waiting until I started training. Yeah, it was so, like, yeah, was like, was this guy's, was I think yeah. this guy's my destiny. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is it. I'm going to start my class now, yeah. For sure. Genetically, this guy seems really gifted. <laughs> 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 I was, look, I was right. Like 17 years later, I like, I'm going to have this guy in a fucking radio show one day. And he's going to pay me. <laughs> Um, well, okay. F it, to be fair, I only gave forty dollars, right? Did you pay? Yeah, I gave the forty dollars. Yeah, everybody else then threw in. Hey. Oh, maybe this is, it was just a way for Armin to get some cash, right? Yeah, yeah. We just, yeah. we made up, he's him. made up his own community. <laughs> it, it's uh, all goes in the Armin fund. Like I can't say his last name either. So. <laughs> 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 oh man actually there's so many guys that, that from kichisai still garrett pushkin yourself That's right. uh jeff muir started there as well yeah uh no he, no he started at the uh at the beer store I no think. man no? no no i'm pretty sure was he, was at, he was at kichisai as well gavin gavin yeah he came back there's lots of guys that are still are still around like fucking man get a life there's so many. <laughs> this is my job. Out you guys don't even want to do it. And you guys still keep showing up. I mean, there's so many people through the years though that have like just dropped out too, though, right? Um, it, well, it's uh, look how many black belts I've made in right. 15 years, right? There's maybe 10. That's 12, it, yeah. something like that. Probably like, hundreds and hundreds of people that have trained too. Thousands, right? man. Thousands. Right? Like a stack yeah. of waivers is big every year, and fucking, we only got yeah. 200 people in the building. Right. Right. So it's it's dude, it's hard. No one walks. He wants to work hard. Right? right so i bust your balls but you're still here 15 yeah, years later right. right like one of your longest students man yeah yeah i yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, <that's> good. <laughs> well on that uh, the next one is uh, it's from armin again he says what's been your favorite memory in your bjj journey bjj yeah yeah two j's yes. right yeah, not yeah. just one no i think it's just easily confused for <laughs> people like you <laughs> My favorite BJJ memory. Um, yeah, see, now you're all confused. <laughs> it's like, wait, this one time. <laughs> yeah, this would have been probably when I first started training. Um, we had, like, all the gyms together. You probably, you probably won't remember this. And uh, Silvio Baring was down. And uh, I don't know, t like, at the time, to me, like, that guy was, like, you know, yeah, in yeah, the BJJ sure. hierarchy, right? And he had all the white belts together, and he had us, like, all rolling or whatever. And at the end of the whole thing, there was probably like, I don't know, there was a lot of people there. That's all I remember. And he recognized like, you know, a newcomer and he like brought me out in front of everybody was like, oh, this guy is like gonna, you know, he's good. And yeah, that's probably one of my fondest memories. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not the story I would have told, but that's Yeah, it's like, okay, well, sorry, what you have told anybody? No, man, that's good. You got, you got, you got, you got feelings. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. That's fine. 
fine. What, um, else, what else does Armin have to say over there? Yeah, 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 yeah too, uh, right? That's it for Armin's question, but another one from Barry. He wants to know if you've ever kissed another man. <laughs> and if no, would you ever kiss another man? And if yes, would you kiss him? And he's asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how the fuck do I answer this anyways? Honestly? My God. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to kiss Bear? I think that's what we need to know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> he's playing hard to get. Yeah, he's not saying yeah, no. no. <laughs> right? He's not saying no. Yeah, the next question. <laughs> okay. So the next one's from Rod. He, uh, from Rob, pardon me. He just wants to know, uh, do you go door-to-door as a legit job, or is it just so you can talk to people? <laughs> <laughs> No, this is actually a job I did have. Um, I recently uh, switched to Roger's uh, customer care. But no, legit, I went door to door soliciting for kids. <laughs> for for, pa- I'm sorry, what did you say? For paper routes. I was trying to find kids to take paper routes. Uh, yeah. That okay. is the weirdest job I've right? ever heard in my yeah, life. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm sure you were a big hit too. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> a like, huge hit. Just yeah. like, hey, do you got any kids? Yeah, right? what you <laughs> <laughs> actually, the crazy story, I've told this to a few people here. Um, they sent me outside of school, uh, Vincent Massey one oh, time. Oh, Jesus. No, this story does not end well at all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're just like, yeah, go there and like hand out flyers, see if there's any kids that would be interested in a paper. And I'm like, this does not sound like a good idea at all, Kind of right? van where you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had this one oh kid very God. standoffish, and I was like, bro, like, don't even worry about it. He then gets his dad. His dad's like yelling at me, and this, <laughs> this other woman's yelling at me too. And just to make a long story short, it's about 10 o'clock that same day. I'm in my boxers. I go answer the door. And there's, like, a police officer out the door, too, right? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not making this up, yeah. And he's like, yeah, we got reports that you were, like, trying to solicit kids out of a, outside of a school, right? And I was like, it took me a second. I was like, oh, right. And I explained. I got my credentials. I'm like, I work for Metroland Media. It's, like, the Oshawa this week. Like, yeah, I feel really bad, right? Like, and he's like, yeah, just never do that again. Right? <laughs> I would have done it in the first place. Like, this, this would have been some alarms going off. Right? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Like, you didn't offer candy or nothing. No, <laughs> not, nothing like, like that. Like, no. deliver these papers. Yeah, only, only, only to the standoffish kids, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh, that's like one of the most awkward stories I probably have, though. That was. <sighs> I don't that's imagine amazing. that's even in the top 10, Dale. <laughs> 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 well, we got our, uh, our final uh, question from, from uh, the, I guess, the listeners. I don't know what to okay, call it. Yeah. But uh, uh, so it's from John, and he says, tell us how the CIA destabilized South America and imposed debt through the IMF to form the New World Order. So yeah. do you actually want me to answer this? Or? I, I fucking we're read going it, deep. Go. I said we're going deep. Sorry. Go, okay, go. yeah, no, I can answer this. Um, I, don't <laughs> I don't really know what the CIA has involvement in terms of the destabilization of Latin America, but certainly the IMF does. Um, For people who don't know what the IMF is. Yeah, it's the International Monetary Fund. I can't believe I'm actually answering this. No, 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 cool, man. I want to hear this. Okay, you want to hear this? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, you probably have to take it back to uh, what was called the um, Nixon shock. So essentially what the Nixon shock was, was uh, there was more like paper money in the market than there was gold. So what essentially happened from that was um, uh, Nixon, he was like the president or whatever, right? I've heard of him, yeah. Right? He was basically like, fuck it. What we're going to do is make currency market-based. It was always on the gold standard, right? So then what happened from there was there was an organization called the Bet, uh, Bretton Woods Project, right? So essentially from there what happened was this organization, um, they were basically involved in like world currencies, like um, moderning it. But since um, the Nixon shock came into place, they really had nothing to do and there was like a void. So they were given the task to essentially create this organization to, uh, you know, look at the third world debts. Because essentially what was happening was um, there was, like, a lot of banks that were give, letting money out to these, like, third world dictators or whatever, right? And so, <laughs> so then basically what happened from there was um, the IMF emerged from this, like, void, right, from the Bretton Woods project. And essentially um, what happened is they go into these third world countries and impose these austerity measures where... Yeah, it essentially handcuffs these countries or whatever. Like in um, Bolivia, for example, they didn't even have access to drinking water. There's actually like documentaries on this um, to even collect the drinking water in Bolivia for a span of about five years. Like you would have been arrested because the IMF actually sold um, water off to some like French water company or whatever. 
And yeah, so that's essentially the story. The IMF went in to a lot of these countries like Peru, Mexico. Mexico is actually the first country they uh, imposed these IMF austerities. Who, who, sorry, who asked that question? Uh, John. Yeah, John. Yeah, John. Um, sorry, let me get to two seconds. It was the last question, so I closed the notes okay, page. That's oh, fair, yeah, that's fair. Just tell, tell that person to fucking unfriend me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing, nothing from that, essentially. <laughs> I got nothing from that. I'm just kind of dumber from it. Yeah, if that's if that's all that I, I don't know. The only thing Latin America is getting crazy. Like I do see stuff sometimes. Like people were eating. I think it was Venezuela. They were eating um, like rotten meat and stuff because oh, right. they, they had such a food shortage that it's just like not the life we're living. You no, know, what I mean? definitely. So yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, like that's been happening in Latin America for like the last forty years, fifty years. Oh, the whole, the whole world. Yeah, is, the whole yeah. world's fucking insane, man. It's getting worse, and worse. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Look at France right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. right. Like, yeah. 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 It's really crazy. They're fucking right lynching now, yeah. each other over there, and that's like birthplace of democracy. You right, know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's the world. That protest is... worked too. He 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 reversed all those taxes and stuff, or he's going back to the table to fix it. Yeah. Man. Wow. Fucking better, man. Those yeah. some angry angry folk, right? Like the whole world is designed for the rich to get richer and the poor yeah, to just get the yeah. shit beat out of them, right? And then you think that's not gonna happen fucking here, right? And you're crazy. So some there's got to be some shit happening in the world to, to level the playing field because it's insan it's insanity, man. So like uh, we need. You know what we need? What's that? Need more Dale yeah, Howard. You, yeah. yeah. you need to expand outside of Marmor, my little friend. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen to this guy. Um, I was reading an article that um, Why? I might I might <laughs> I might be misquoting this article, but uh, the CEO of like GM just got like a raise. You know, they're making like thirty million dollars a year. I'm definitely not getting it down, right? But essentially the article was like they're getting rid of all these jobs. <laughs> Yet the CEO of the company is They're always like, getting more money. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for sure. Like the, it's stuff like the CEOs of like, like supposed to be charitable organizations, like the Red right. Cross. So like those guys are making fucking millions I know, a it's year, crazy, right? Yeah. Like it's it's nuts. The whole world is fucking insane. And there's those are the guys that are they're not even in the grand scheme of mil billionaires and trillionaires. Like they're not even right. on the radar. You know for sure, I mean? yeah. Like they're guys. You can maybe you can making thirty dollars, thirty million dollars a year, and you're you're not in a blip. That's right? it. Yeah. Like. The whole, the, all the wealth in the world belongs to like one percent of yeah, the population. You know I mean? it's, yeah, it's fucking nuts, and they don't give a shit about anyone. But like yeah. in the collapse in 08, when everything was like closing down, yeah, like there were people that were getting government bailout money as like bonuses, right? I mean, it's crazy. Well, yeah. GM was one of those companies, right? Yeah, and now they're gone, or yeah. now they're leaving, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, it was like Canadian taxpayers as well. I know, like it happened in the U.S. as well. But I mean, that is one of the argument from the GM people here. Like we build you guys out and like a decade later, you're just going to fuck off. Right. You yeah. Know? Uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm sure Oshawa is going to be fine. No, I, I have no doubt. The university right. is fucking enormous yeah, and they spring a lot and it continues to bring a lot of industry and it's a tough city. It'll be fine. You know what I mean, For it's, sure. it's still it's kind of scary though. I have dozens of friends that, you know, work in the industry one way or right. another. Right. Mm -hmm. so it's scary, but man, like, be, be fine. Like I heard at one point they employed like twenty five thousand people or something. It was it was huge. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. In the er, it, late eighties, early nineties. That's crazy. right. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, those jobs don't even pay what they did either. Like, no. Like, I'm, I'm thinking what they pay now. It's only like, I don't know. I'm probably gonna fuck this up, but probably like just average, like forty forty five thousand, right? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't even say that. Like usually people, like the younger guys that have been going into GM, they're making something right. like twenty two dollars an hour, twenty four an hour. Something yeah, like I mean, where, whereas twenty years ago it was outrageous how much those yeah. guys were getting paid. Yeah, right? they're trying but, to pay those guys like, to retire because they're they're making way too much and they're yeah. getting older. And when you look too at like the the cost of living back then, like you could buy a house say in the nineties for like one hundred and thirty thousand, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're yeah. making like eighty thousand now. You're making thirty five, and a house is like nine hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, it's it's insane, man. It's insane. I mean, I can definitely understand why these French people are going to the streets and protesting, right? Like, and then to tie it back to the artificial intelligence, like a lot of these because you naturally, it, yeah, right? It makes That's sense. how my brain works. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the robots are like you know they're taking over our jobs, right? basically uh, do, like, you, do you think to add on to that would do you think like a universal basic income are you like a believer in that like uh you know I, speaking about podcasts yeah i heard joe rogan talking about this that they're actually like um testing this out so, in some places they were doing it here <laughs> ford killed it he they were doing it in some places in ontario were, were they, they like how, so how much do you remember how much it's not like a, it's not like a lot but you make it something like 1400 1600 a month it's enough to cover like basic right. cost of living and yeah. it was just like they it were just, just paid checks, out like yeah. welly, yeah. And then wow. the, the idea is, if, if you have enough to meet the minimum requirement for life, right, then you'll kind of just go on and do 
you know, they, they hope you'll go and do great things, but it's like a catch 22. Like people like you might get the money and go on and like, you know, train and, and fight and, and try to right. build a legacy fighting. But then other people that, you know, we all know living in Oshawa are just going to go and, you know, hit the bottle every day. And, you know, right. exactly. Yeah. exactly. And like, I think the argument that I heard too was like, you know, these robots are taking our jobs, right? So we should tax them heavily and then reap the benefits of it. Right. Like if nobody has jobs, mm -hmm. you know, there's no income, you know, like, <sighs> It's, it's scary, you know? Yeah. You know, it drives me fucking nuts. You go somewhere like, uh, like Superstore right. and you try to use a self checkout. That's right. Yeah. And it always it fucks up and yeah. takes two people to come over. <laughs> it, it takes two. Is that fucking Armin? Is it? Oh, no, it's Armin. Okay. Some other dude looks like Armin. All right. So, well, yeah, I got a customer waiting at the door, oh, Dale. Do so you're actually, and we're at right about an hour. So I yeah. think you're, uh, so, so, I think you're right off the fucking hook, my friend. So how did I do, anyways? I, I, if I was going to give you like a, no. Like one out of 10? No. Like a five? I'm not even gonna. No, you're not even we'll a humor. People decide. Okay, right, I think you did great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We 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 did so many questions, and you, you talked. You were worried that you weren't going to talk enough. We didn't even get into MMA news or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we can do fair. more. I don't give a fuck. This the guy's doors locked. I mean, yeah, it's up to you guys. Yeah, no, right? yeah fuck him. Okay, because <laughs> we, we, we do have a couple good stories. I, I definitely want to talk about. I want to jump in. Did you see Oscar De La Hoya Dana White feud? Oh, I saw something so about that. Oscar yeah. De La Hoya went on ESPN, pretty much said that Dana White doesn't pay people enough. Right. He claimed that somebody did uh, a main event uh, pay-per-view card, million right. buys and made 50 grand. So Dana White goes on ESPN, calls him a cokehead, says that he's a liar. And then Oscar responds and says he wants to fight him three rounds. What? <laughs> three rounds. He said, I'll give you four or five months to get off the juice. So he's like accusing Dana of being on steroids. I'm in love with all this, all, everything that's going on. I want to see the fight happen so bad. Like I, I heard the Chuck Liddell um, That's card. where it all started. Yeah, it was like a huge flop, right? Yeah. yeah it did, um, did horrible. But Oscar's saying he wants to Keep doing fights. I mean, oh, whatever, man. They, they got money to burn, so give right. a shit. Whatever. I don't. I know. I don't want to watch Chuck Liddell fight again. Yeah, like that was honestly really yeah. embarrassing. Yeah, like, it wasn't embarrassing. It, it was sad. Like watching him like hit pads as well. I'm thinking, like, Is it, why isn't anyone say anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, your friends. Yeah. yeah, you probably shouldn't drive. Like. I'm not saying I'm great, but I'm looking at this like, I think I would have a chance against Chuck <laughs> Oh my God, that's crazy. Too. Like, that's how bad I thought yeah. he looked. I'm not saying I'm on that level at all, like yeah. at all. I think you are. You think so? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I appreciate that. No, I, do, athlete, I right? do appreciate that. But speaking, speaking of that, career. Um, Michael B. Jordan from Cree 2. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you uh, Roy Jones Jr. What you are you <laughs> out of your fucking mind? I, I mean, man. we've already tried this with our, what was our friend there? Um, Byron. Byron. Byron, yeah. Byron, yeah you went, oh, shit. Poor Byron went to sleep. Like, dude, Roy Jones off the couch, 60 years old, drunk as fuck will murder most of the people on the fucking planet. Yeah, definitely. He's yeah. an absolute fucking alien. He had a fight sure. this year. So, oh, did he? Yeah, he fought in like February or something this year. Like, he, so who's he fighting at this point anyways? I'm not sure exactly. Like, who just knows? some random body. He's, one of the, he's one of the greatest ever, like, and, he, and genetic. Like, he's still a killing machine. Right. Like, you're, you're a fucking idiot to make fucking claims and think like that. You're, you're... You're watching too much of your own goddamn superhero movies. Yeah, yeah, that shit's nuts. He, and his reasoning too. He's like, you know, I've been training with Rocky. I've been training with these. Yeah, and I was I, when he said it, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Right. You've been training with Sylvester Yo, these are, Stallone. Yeah, these are. So actors, you feel like you can man. hang with Roy Jones. Yeah, like, that's, what the like, fuck? that's scary. Yeah, yeah so watch it. I, I still go watch Jones' uh, highlight videos, and I'm like, the guy's mind blowing. The stuff that he can do. He was so so much faster, more powerful than everyone. Right. Like he was an amazing boxer, but just genetically, the stuff that I, I could do with you was like insane. Like. Yeah. Like, I wonder if he would uh, compete in one of these, like, bare-knuckle uh, fights that they've Ooh. been having. Because uh, I see, like, a lot of, like, old-school MMA guys doing it, yeah, right? Yeah, I think the uh, MMA guys are doing it. I don't know if, how much the boxers are doing it, but the MMA guys, it's a little, like, they already understand punching with small gloves and stuff right. like that in short rounds. And, I don't know, boxers. And boxers how boxers made way more money there's no way they would go backwards and fight for fucking Yeah, that's money. true. Like, yeah, whereas, like, MMA guys, like... Those, those yeah. bare-knuckle shows are paying way more than fucking the guys the MMA guys were making when they were competitive like even UFC guys you would say or? yeah mm -hmm. really wow you know I have heard this like I think Pearson wrote an article in the sun where he was like essentially saying that he was taking a pay cut fighting in the UFC oh absolutely like I don't know what it's like right now because I'm we haven't had anyone in for a bit but right like, originally like we go to the UFC and like you're gonna you're gonna get rinsed your your, your training cap costs more than your first fight I know that's crazy right, right? so you're gonna lose money every time you go like you're making like four or five G's on the undercard a fight? Like Yeah, it's like six and six, right? So if you didn't win, you were right. you're taking a loss for sure. Oh right? my god. And then God. your next one, if you won, then you're eight and eight and then ten, right. ten, right? But 
if you're not fighting three times a year and winning three times a year, then yeah, you're, you're essentially broke, living yeah. below the poverty line. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, do you think McGregor might have changed the, the I economics? I think he's of definitely it? up the ante. I'm sure yeah. about that. Like, I don't really know for sure, but I think, uh, or at least laid some sort of blueprint out right. and, and made, made people the amount of money that is actually out there to be made. Right. And they're not going to come across too many more McGregors who are, who are going to get paid like that. You know No, what for mean? sure. But yeah. If there's a hundred million dollars to pay him, there's a hundred, there's, that's a hundred million dollars that can be spread. Mm-hmm. Now, right. So other guys aren't fucking starving to death for the enter- our entertainment. You know what I mean? But the, the problem, one of the problems you have with MMA is like, if you're not willing to fight for five grand, this guy is. Right. Because people don't know what they're watching anyway. They just want to watch violence. Like right. I think they was, watch you Chuck fight fight Chuck Liddell for a Happy Meal. They don't give a shit. They just want to see someone get punched in the face, right? So. Like I think the other issue with MMA, it's like such a new sport as well, right? Like boxing went through the whole fighting for pennies and stuff like that. Then yeah. they, they got unions and you know. Yeah, but the truth is, people just want to be on TV. That, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true too. Right, like they, for every guy that wants to be the actually really has a chance or wants to be the best there is, best of their ability. There's a guy that just wants to get laid. <laughs> yeah. They're really, they're, you mean like yeah. most of the guys are just doing, I've give, trust me, I came up through him for every, for every guy like me, Pearson, Antonio, guys like that who are fucking took it like a professional and trainer fucking balls off. Half these guys were hawking butts and doing blow before they even got in there. Like they were just doing it because they wanted to be on pay-per-view or yeah, whatever else. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Right. right? So there's wow. always someone that would just step up and do it for less. It's like any right. other job. True. Right. Mm-hmm. If you don't want it, this guy will take it. It's okay. Right. So you're like, fuck, all right, you got to take the job. Right. And so, it, like it's turned into a, like an entertainment business too. Oh, well, right? it's sports entertainment. Yeah, Say it all the sure. time. There's no ranking system. Mm-hmm. All right. The ranking, the, si- ranking system is who's making the most money. And it's like who can run their mouth or, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's exactly that's why the McGregor's and the Bispings and right. those guys get paid. Right? You're not being paid on skill anymore. True. And that, for the truth, why did. Demetrius Johnson go to fucking Asia. yeah well, yeah one FC yeah. the one great thing about that one FC just announced their TV deal for America oh, cool. right. so they partnered I don't know I think it's with Turner Sport I don't know the exact I can Google it real quick but they have a, an official partner for 2019 where all their pay per views I think they might actually just put it on cable too they might right. not even pay per views over here sweet yeah, t- tons of great talent great fights over there Sage Northcutt like, just left the UFC and went there cool that, which I thought was they hilarious because like the UFC oh, found true, yeah, him so, and yeah, built yeah, him up right. yeah yeah from like I they think cut, he was like, they caught him first right they, they cut him? yeah they cut yeah. him and then he signed him after it okay like yeah I miss the Japanese days like when you know with like uh, Pride and Shudo and I was those. explaining this to these guys weeks ago and it's like Japanese MMA was the best man like and even like, changed you know, the entrance is like Ginky Sudo. Like, I fucking love yeah, that. Yeah. It's like dressing up as a geisha girl. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> they, yeah, things have changed for sure. Like one of my favorite uh, walkouts. I don't know if you remember this. What was that? He recently died too. Big black guy. Um, fought in pride. Oh, he slammed uh, Fedor. Remember that? Oh, Randleman. Yeah, so they used to call him Donkey Kong, I think, yeah, in Japan. Yeah, you can't right? do that anymore. No, that's no. right. Yeah, we're, like, <laughs> sensitive about those things, right? <laughs> yeah, that's and, hilarious. And Sakuraba um, came out dressed as uh, Super Mario. Do you remember this? Yeah, yeah. With the yeah, Super Mario theme music? Yeah. Like, wow. Like you said, you wouldn't be able to get with, away with that today, right? Michael Venom Page does a little bit of that stuff. Yeah. Just, and Bellator, but not as much. Like, he knocked a guy out to roll a Pokeball at him one right. time. But like, he I, doesn't I, do that race stuff. I, guess. I think, honestly, Genki Sudo was the most entertaining for that. Like, the entrances, he would come out, like, with all these, like, weird themes. Yeah, like, and then we do dances. And right, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, robots and stuff yeah. in the middle of the cage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. I don't know, those days, for me, like, that's when MMA was at its peak. Like, you had Iminari, like, interesting people like that, too. Yeah. Get, you know? No, like, I don't know. When I watch MMA, it's just... People they're cycling them through so fast right, yeah. that you can't even and get so, behind a character, right? And like every the, every walkout is generic and that's mm-hmm. right. I mean, all the fighters too, they're just trying to for the, the knockout or take them down. I mean, yeah, you're not really seeing like an Eminari these days, like guys like that, yeah, right? Doing flashy shit, making taking well, chances and Ryan Hall was a bit Yeah. No. Boring as shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those were the days. I right? like those fifty fifty guys who are like this is I'm you're all in, you're all out. I'm going to try this. Right? If it doesn't work, I'm fucked. But those are the guys that I like. Like, I don't know if this is like a uh, wives style, but I, I remember hearing Imanari would go in without MMA gloves. Is that true? Uh, I think if I remember him doing a few without. And I think what he was basically saying is I'm going to rip your leg off. Like, I don't need to yeah, punch you. Yeah, gloves. Yeah. Right. That's, I mean, 
So that's what Pride was wicked. They have a guy in a judo gi trying to tie boxer <laughs> yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, um, and the rules too were yeah, just like just make, them up, make them up as you go. <laughs> it's like amazing, man. Like this are closer to a real fight. Rules, right. rules are for losers. I mean, you had the stomps. Like uh, Shogun ah. was really into that. Oh, right? I love the stomps. See, they, they put all these <laughs> shitty rules in. Like, yeah, you can't soccer kick guys right. and shit like that. That doesn't make any sense. One of the worst. Uh, Things I saw was a Rona getting slammed by Rampage. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that was gross. Like, I thought a Rona died. Have you ever honest. seen that? Oh yeah, oh, oh my god, my god. that was on the same card with Fedor getting spiked on his head too. Yeah, no, I'm surprised. I, like he was like fucking eight feet in the air, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I think what actually happened in that fight, a Rona protest that he actually like choked him out or something. Like, yeah, no, you were you were sleeping, yeah. homeboy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were sleeping. Like you get your head smashed in the mat and then your knee right. smashed into your own face, then a couple of extra hammer fists for the fuck of it. <laughs> Pretty sure you lost that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a big, yeah, those big. were the days, man. Yeah. What other news you got there, Joshua? Uh, so they just announced, <laughs> we were just talking about this uh, a little bit before we went, but Cain Velasquez and uh, will be making his return against Francis and Ganyu. Ah. Which is a bit of a weird matchup, but. Well, they're trying to figure out who's next. And yeah, cause that is a weird matchup because like yeah. it would be the next line for. The title, I guess, or? against fucking uh, DC. I thought DC was going to vacate for Kane to come back. Maybe, maybe that's, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's right. Like yeah, that. But like, yeah. and Ghana's always got that big puncher's chance, right? Yeah. But like, and you never know what Velasquez shows up because he's been out for yeah, so that's long. Right. I so mean, plagued with injury and yeah, neck surgery, down. back surgery, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows? Like, both terrifying guys, for sure. right? But Ngano will. He, he slows down pretty fast. And Cain Velasquez is the, like the heavyweight with the biggest gas tank you'll ever see. He'll never stop coming at you, right? So For sure. And he changes levels well, and he's, he's disciplined. So I, I'd see him winning that fight. He, not easily, but wearing on him and beating right. him up just like uh, – uh, What's Stipe? his name? Did? Yeah, Stipe did to him. That's, yeah, what I mean, I, that's the fight I kind of thought of. Like, that violent. fight broke him. He might get broke even further by Cain. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, he, Cain will lean on you. He'll beat the shit out exactly, of you. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, Ngannou's ground, I mean, didn't look great to me. No, you know? he was okay at trying to getting back right. up to his feet, but, like, it's because he wasn't taking a lot of abuse. He was just getting mm. leaned on. Right. right. So when you're getting punched in the head at the same time, it changes things, right? Yeah, I guess that's the blueprint on that guy. If you can take him down, I mean, he's... Or, or at least halfway down, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what what's what's what I thought with his last fight with Curtis Blades. I thought Curtis was going to beat him because yeah, I thought he was yeah. he was kind of a shell of himself and all this stuff, mm. but he looked great. No, yeah, 40 seconds yeah. or something. All we didn't get to see how great he looked. He just landed the first punch. True, yeah. Was True. over, right? That's the one advantage that guy has. He's a... He's a fucking caveman. Maybe right. that's his whole career. It's either the one punch or, you know, that kind of yeah. just five round decision. Mm. Well, the worst fight, I'm I'm drawing a blank on this guy's name. My balls are hot. What's that guy's oh, name? Oh, Derek Lewis. Uh, that, no, it's my balls was hot. Oh, was awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a professional now. <laughs> yeah. Do your research. <laughs> um, that fight might have been the worst fight I've ever seen between him and Agana. That was, yeah, was like, how, how many yeah. punches were thrown? Like three? Yeah, no, there's... <laughs> they didn't know what to do it's like and if you're in Barry we're gonna kiss you know who goes first you go first do I go first how does it work that jokes yeah oh man that was I remember watching that being like what did I pay for like and especially too both of those guys are kind of like advertised to be the knockout guy right yeah I was excited that's for that that's the one. problem right? right they're both fucking terrified right that's the way I see it anyway and I right. don't blame them like one punch I'll end your like yeah, end your definitely. career right so yeah, I mean, that fight was certainly disappointing. Oh, <laughs> what are we? <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I get a hug after this or what? Oh, man, no. we're fucking done. <laughs> Every day, this guy with his hugs. I'm a hugger, too. Right? And you take it out of me. Like, I don't even like, want, when you're around, I don't want to hug anyone. <laughs> like, three times a day, I'm like, dude, you're fucking greedy. And then I'm propping everybody. I, yeah, I got a problem, man. I'd, That's okay. You need, yeah. you need. Everyone needs affection, Dale. That's right. If you didn't yeah. get enough, I mean, we're here right. for you. I love Just kind of ask... The right other, people, yeah, yeah. Other people okay. than me, like yeah. Barry, I guess. Yeah, listen, you got this. Clear, you guys got a thing. I think if you guys just both continue on this journey without actually saying something to each other, you're gonna regret it forever. Yeah, pro yeah probably. <laughs> I'll be an old man, like, uh, <laughs> fuck, my, <laughs> fuck, we waste our lives. <laughs> uh, you got anything else? Uh, the next one, uh, Israel Adesanya versus Anderson Silva mm -hmm. got announced. I kind of feel like, why, like, why is Anderson Silva still fighting? Yeah, guys, right. Jesus Christ. And he's fighting like a younger version of himself. Yeah, I know. You can never count the guy <laughs> out. He's still scary as shit, but like, um, you gotta want, I understand they're trying to do the pass the torch then mm -hmm. sort of thing, but it's like, come on, man. You should let these guys die heroes. You know, why do you keep fucking bringing them back? Like, 
and like is, is it true he does get a title anderson silva is the reporter here. apparently yeah he's, he's been promised a title shot if he wins yeah, fuck the, i say this every time too like how do you say no right fighting's the best mm. you guys don't know how to do anything else that's how they feed their families and it's a drug so like especially the injuries like anderson has gotten like that one where he uh shin and yeah that was ah Man. But again, I said, you don't know how to do anything else, and it's how you make your money. And like I said, it's it's a fucking pretty good drug. Right. I, I, uh, I, I can't blame him. And he sees this young kid, and he's like, I can fucking do this, right? Like and the kid th- sees him, sorry, and it's like, he wants to beat his idol. You right. know what I mean? So I understand why they make the matchup. I just think it's promoters. that Fights like that just show you what but, scumbags promoters right, are. Right, no, for sure. Right? Mm. Because they could go one of, it's going to go one of two ways. Is Anderson's going to get hurt real fucking bad, or he somehow squeaks it out but like the odds are as a young kid is twice as fast yeah and this kid has looked amazing too Mm -hmm. right like against so and people are scared of him but the one advantage anderson might have is like brunson goes was like he didn't know what to do Mm -hmm. because the guy is scary as shit you think anderson silva's scared of anyone exactly yeah right right if anything this kid's shit in his pants yeah right exactly and the only thing that's going to save him is his athleticism so we'll see Mm -hmm. So, I yeah. mean, I think for Silva, he probably thinks that he's still like thirty in his mind, right? When well, we don't, we don't know, right? Or maybe he's like he's he's he just like, needs some money. Yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah. he needs some blow or something. I don't know, right? <laughs> like a harem of women, he's got to take care of. We don't, we don't know his story. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I know, I know the struggle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly, you have to have three houses in Marmara. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> take care of all your girls, right? You got a full set of teeth to take care of. Out that's there. right. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, I think it's a bad idea for Anderson, but you know. I don't know. And we'll I'll all be watching. Watch, yeah, I'll be watching. Watch probably. Track, so. yeah. All right. The uh, the next thing, UFC 231. I, we haven't done a podcast since it went down, but uh, UFC in Toronto, Max Holloway, Brian oh. Ortega. Did you get to watch that? I, did, I pretty much just watched the highlights of it, and that was enough for me. <laughs> the highlight, the fight was a highlight. Yeah. It was just, what, 290 punches or something? Yeah, yeah. it's just 307. My wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, like, I, I love Ortega. Like, I love his, like, attitude, right? Really quiet. Yeah, no, and uh, I like... What's his name? Um, Holloway said the fucking classiest thing. And he said, uh, someone said, do, do you believe that you're the, the greatest flyweight of all time? He said, no. Jose Aldo is the greatest flyweight of all time. He said, you ask me when I'm 32 or 33 years old, and then I'll, and I'll tell you then. Right. No, and I was sure. like, fucking right, dude. Isn't it crazy that he's only 27? Yeah. It's right? fucking wild. And I was like, man, that, that, was, crazy, a, that yeah. was a fu- the perfect response to that question. I was like, that's why that guy's like a superhero. You know what I mean? Mm. Like that was give him respect to other people and he's like yeah no i, I beat aldo on his decline and he, and he <coughs> you know and he and he uh he respects that and i thought that was a really cool answer for him to say right and uh man he didn't miss a fucking punch all night his timing is he's amazing to i was watch. surprised ortega didn't take him down it's not that easy right yeah right especially after the first round he was he was already dizzy Mm-hmm. Right, so you're taking you start making bad shots, you're gonna eat even worse, right? Yeah, so. and like I think with Ortega, like he generally gets taken down, catches like the guillotine, yeah, yeah, or, you right. know, like he's he not jumped really... on, a, he, tra- he jumped a guard once or twice and was trying mm-hmm. to save himself, but That's like right. he got his face pulled out, yeah, up. that was ah, that so. was not pretty, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. did you see uh, Charles Oliveira fight and uh, Gunnar Nelson on that same card? No, what happened? That he, one? Uh, Gunnar Nelson just took him down eventually, but he landed an elbow that he needed 29 stitches. It what? was the nastiest. When he put him in the rear naked choke and squeezed on him, it popped like a gusher. Like all the blood uh. was just draining out of his face. It was, it was, uh, it was awesome. Like, it was so I, I nasty, mean, but awesome. In the first round, Gunnar didn't look good at all, man. No, yeah. It, uh, like, it looked like he was going to lose that fight. Yeah, that was crazy. I, you always forget when you watch Gunnar Nelson fight that he's like, he's only lost three times. He's like 18 and three or 17 oh, and three or something like that. Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Once he, yeah, he trains with McGregor too, doesn't he? Uh, I think so. I think he trains with Kavanaugh. I don't know if McGregor's actually training there. There's a bit of controversy there. Like uh, Kavanaugh says he's going to need to be convinced to train with McGregor again. What? He's not just going to just do it. He needs to know why. That's oh what he keeps saying. Oh, my God. Because he said that he's at the top of the mountain now. He's like, what the heck are we doing it for? He doesn't, right. he doesn't yeah, want yeah, to yeah. see you get punched for no reason. Yeah, that's fair. He loves him so much, I guess. But hmm. I thought that was interesting. Like, do you, I don't know. Do you think McGregor is going to fight? Who was it that he was supposed to fight? It was Cowboy, right? They're saying, I heard that they were going to do him versus Poirier, which is a little okay, strange. Yeah. But then now they're talking about Max moving up to 155 and fighting. Yeah, but they need a win for him first, right? Exactly, right. So, mm-hmm. Poirier makes sense because they'll bring him back. He can win that. <laughs> he, that's a winnable fight. Mm-hmm. And then they can line him up and make a real big payday. I'd love to see him go with Max again because I think that's Max's last loss. Yeah, yeah that is. I yeah. Think, yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good matchup. I mean, does Connor show up to one of these, like, you know? fights that aren't that big right like Poirier isn't like 
people, Some, yeah, but people pay, people will pay to watch that fight. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. They'll pay okay. to watch whoever he's fight, who he's yeah, fighting. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. For the McGregor show, yeah. they don't give a fuck who he's fighting. But they, if they want to build, they got to get him a win to build that super fight. Right? True. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, I was embarrassed for him talking all that shit, and then Khabib just. Did you expect anything else? I didn't. <laughs> Uh, there was a part of me like, what if he catches Khabib, you know? Because Khabib in, in that fight against Al Quinta, I mean, having his chin up and like, you know, just throwing he like ate, this. He yeah. ate some, yeah, but like, nah, he's uh, I yeah, no, I thought that fight was a fucking masterpiece. He oh, literally definitely. smashed him. <laughs> For sure. Right? Yeah. Like how he, th- how he held, I, and he just took his time breaking him just a little bit of a time. You can see him falling apart. Yeah, definitely. And he starts talking shit to him and everything else. It was amazing. I loved it. Like even uh, when he caught him with that right hand, that was amazing. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, just. <laughs> Came up high. It was pretty. Yeah. So. All right. What, what else you got? Well, we we can uh, we could probably talk forever about fights if you guys want. There's lots of Bellator fights, UFC fight nights coming up. John Jones versus Gustafson. Yeah, Josh, is there anything that you want to ask Dale today? Right? Well, He's a very this, interesting yeah, guy. Like, this is your chance, man. Right? I, well, I feel this like... may this may never happen again. It's not going to happen. Again. <laughs> well, I, don't, I, don't, I feel like I'm going to expose myself. I'm just more impressed by all this, like eating junk food and still training and stuff. I feel right. like, yeah, breakfast's yeah. always on my ass. You, you're, sure. uh, you're, there's hope for you, Josh. Yeah, yeah right? you can do like, this. You can yeah. do this. Right? right? Yeah. You, why don't you give Josh some diet tips? <laughs> yeah, fruit well, loops. Yeah. yeah, last few minutes. <laughs> right? right? Yeah, what yeah. Fruit loops. I got all the colors. I mean, red guy to scratch this morning. That's it. That's good. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you my diet, man. You, you'll love it. Uh, you know Perfect. what? I'm not even going to lie. I've had enough of the Dale show today. Right, yeah. yeah You've I think had it's enough, time, yeah. Well, I had to piss when I got here and I forgot. Right. Because I was busy reminding you to take a piss. <laughs> right. So uh, playing dad. No, I'm, uh, we, it's a special day, day. Dale, do you know what day? Yeah, it's great. It's great. Right? Yeah. Are you coming tonight, Dale? Yeah, I'll probably be there, yeah. What? What? <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you show up yeah. right. and hang out with the other 250 people that are going to be here. It's like, That's fucking, it's like Christmas. Right. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. We just we're hang out like a bunch of vultures, pick at people who are weak and then beat right. the shit at them. That's fair. Yeah, no, it is a fun day. And then ah, but we give the money to charity. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a big yeah. day for charity. Yeah, Dale. Sure. You did it. You did right. it, Dale. It, it, was, it was Armin, man. Let's be honest. It was Armin. Yeah. Hey, Armin wasn't the draw here today. Yeah, that's true. Right? That's Armin, right. Armin that's was right. the man behind the money. But yeah, that's right. Let's be real. I'm the face, right? You're, 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 the, you're the second biggest draw in the room. <laughs> Maybe third. <laughs> All right, let's shut her down, boys. I said I got someone waiting out the door at our secret studio here. All right, so wicked. Um, All jokes aside, uh, five hundred dollars was raised by Armin that's and, right, and Dale, yeah. and uh, it says right here that it is an Inuit-specific provincial service provider that provides social support, <laughs> cultural activities, counseling, and crisis intervention as a one-stop resource center. That's where the money's going. Uh, Leading, you know, trying to follow your example and do a little bit of good, whether it's, you know, through this, this isn't our community, but it's a community. So we're helping out somebody. Be friendly and help the world. And, uh, and that's it, man. Like I said, it's, uh, people everywhere. I need a little leg up. Right. So if you have any sort of platform to do it, then just do it, man. Buy the guy a fucking coffee, stand out the 401 at exit. Like do something kind for someone every single day. Right. Dale. Yeah. My no, home, I'm feeling, I'm Dale, feeling that. my homework assignment for you, my right, friend, let's hear it. is okay. don't you change your goddamn thing. I kind of, <laughs> listen, we all have habits. My habit, every single time you walk in the door, is just it's shake like... my head and bust your balls a little bit. No, but, I, I like it. You know, I mean, don't ever start start wearing your underwear on the inside. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or shaving, or, or, like, you know, or doing any sort of personal hygiene. Because then wearing, like, it, it, you would just wreck it. You know what right, I mean? You're like a right. big old ginger u- unicorn, <laughs> and I don't want you to ever change. So you just keep being you. Be nice to people. Go buy another house for those young ladies. Yeah, probably. In probably. I'm, I'm working right? out another. Too. Yeah, yeah. You Add should. to my you wall. Should. Yeah. yeah, you should. Maybe move out of your mom's house. Yeah, it's, right. a, it's your thing. Yeah, it's an idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I got three houses and live at home. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all done. Dale Howie. Pleasure. Do I get a hug, man? Go fuck yourself, Dale. <laughs> Joshua, clap boy. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening.